Hey what is up guys YT Gaming to top here coming at you with this amazing video today we are rocking druid village super monkey guys this strategy is just so good you will not believe how well it works so there is druid village ice and druid village ninja obviously ninja is bugged so we are not going to use ninja and taking out ice or super monkey I wanted to try super monkey because with ice you can survive till maybe even round 35, 38 ish with the village, with the homeland, but you will still lose past round 40. While with Super Monkey, you can take it past round 40. Easily, easily, guys. Super Monkey with village, with avatar of Wrath, and with the upper druid on the top, cleaning up all the ZOMGs is so good, guys. You will see. I am going to show you how broken the strategy is. And if you wonder, but bro, bro, gaming to top, you are losing lives, how will you survive past round 40? Easy, guys, easy. The uh, 250 druid restores the lives, so that's so simple. We are going to mix eco. Mix eco meaning that we will go for very good eco while druid farming. So we don't want to have only druid farms, neither we want to have only uh, eco. Because we have druids, so why not use it, right? Right, obviously I'm right, I know, because I spent a lot of time using this strategy, so of course I'm right. Anyway, we leak down some lives, we are getting one of our druids to the lightning, and one of our druids is going to be 0 1, uh, 1 2. So, now we are just echoing with the white balloons, uh, we are going to echo with yellows. I used to try to go for druid farm, but if you watch the druid videos, you know that... Uh, I found out that it's more efficient to just full yellow eco, then go for your village, then keep ecoing, and maybe only around 16, 18 is where you start building your first druid farms, because the eco is so important for you. Anyway guys, that's what we are doing, and actually with the sniper it's the same thing, you just want to build your eco as high as possible before you start sniper farming, unless the map is really short and it's more effective to sniper farm, because you will, you will be able to quickly use the money. Uh, by selling your sniper and building some defenses or allowing them if they're greeting or doing some weird stuff Anyway, this guy is going boomer wizard and heli pilot and as weird as his strategy looks like He can actually defend pretty well until BAD so at this point I already know that bro this game is going to the BADs So as you can see my eco is really good. I'm going for the village. I got my uh, third tier druid and I got my middle third tier druid as well uh, on strong it's just extra popping power and that will be my druid farm later on but right now I just wanted some extra popping power and I didn't want to go for the lower path so I just prepared that druid in order to scare my opponent from rushing and he hasn't been rushing me he has been building some defenses which is why uh, I start full equaling with the yellow balloons as also, as you can see, I went for discount village plus camo village. I didn't go for jungle drums plus camo because this discount is going to help me a lot. I'll be building so many druids that this discount will save lots of money, even though the first and second and even third tier on druid is not expensive, but still it's a really nice thing to have just to reduce your expenses and get extra money. It's always good. Come on, guys. We have to be greedy in this game because we want to win. Anyway, the reason why I have uh, Ocean Obin and not Normal Obin, because we will want to use the Super Monkeys for Moe, for BFPs, for ZOMGs, which is why Ocean Obin is just better in this situation. If I went with uh, Ice, I would obviously bring the Normal Obin. Anyway, I place my Super Monkey, and with Super Monkey, Discount Village, guys, 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 it makes such a huge difference for the Dark Knight, for any upgrade with Super Monkey, because all of them are so expensive. Anyway, our eco is above 1600 by round 17, and we already have our Druid farm, and we have our village, and we have really good defenses, come on, guys, this strategy is just so good. But again, we weren't really anti-stalling early game, because he didn't start with the anti-stall Dartling gun, he started with the boomerang, and he placed his boomerang low, so the rounds were kind of longer and a little bit extended which is why we have a little bit higher eco anyway guys 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 he's not even sending anything because he knows we can defend we can defend so i get an extra druid as well just in case just to scare him and maybe prevent him from rushing us anyway i go for my third druid farm while max ecoing with yellows well it's not max eco at this point max eco will be with pinks but i stick to yellows until yellows are completely gone so our goal to 
combine Druid farms with the eco and just just get so much money, guys. Druid is just so good. And honestly, if Dartling glitch was not a thing, Druid would be meta right now. So maybe after the update, the meta is going to change so much and maybe Druid will come into play. Although they are nerfing Super Monkey a little bit, so maybe it won't be as good. But combining Druid with Village with some other third tower that can survive late game and early game and mid game. Guys, this strategy is just so good. Only issue I can see happening maybe after the update. If they are going Dartling Farm Super or Dart Farm Super or something like this, they are using farms because many people will use farms. Round 22, fortified ZOMG all out, layered with fortified BFPs on the second balloon boost. Uh, that's a pretty common rush. That might be a really, really difficult thing to defend, even though you have technological terror, but still you just need so much money so maybe this strategy will need a rework but i still think it will be one of the meta strategies after the update after they nerf ninja after they nerf dartling gun uh, druid village might be one of the meta strategies honestly but we have to see there is no point to talk about it until the next update comes and you want to ask me why are you not rushing him bro come on because he has boomerang he can just get more press and infinitely stall uh, any rush that I send against him, which is why I just don't want to spend like say 11k on fortified ZMG plus 200 eco I just better get as much money as I possibly can and now I am preparing my first super monkey for uh, DDT defenses As you can see I got it under the discount village now I'm trying to fit an extra super monkey But they're just so huge everything is so huge in this game that you just have to be careful with your placements And now I go for two free village instead of the discount one because I have placed everything that I already wanted uh, to place in that area. Well, I will be upgrading my uh, druids obviously, but they are tier 4 upgrades, so it doesn't really matter anyway. And yeah guys, you can see our eco is above 4k. We have uh, lots of druid farms. At this point we have uh, 13 druid farms with uh, 4500 eco and we just have unlimited amounts of money guys at this point if you don't want to play the way i did in this game stop ecoing stop uh well maybe you can do it far until uh, round 28 or middle of round 28 and that's where you can stop completely and just keep saving up money from that point and then allow uh, your opponent if you know they are not going to defend uh, fortified BADs like this guy he is not defending FBADs with his loadout so if I really wanted to I could have just uh, rushed him right now well not, not, not right now but I mean round 30 uh, which is almost right now and I would have easily won this game but I wanted to showcase this strategy and I really wanted him to rush me so I'm not planning him uh, losing this game because I'm not going to all out him right now. Anyway, as you can see guys, super big tip, get the discount villages around your super monkeys. It just saves you so much money. It's just so good, especially with the super monkey, which makes the strategy so much stronger because of how much money you can accumulate using Druid, normal eco and using discount village. In fact, if you really want, maybe around round 27, you can go for uh, Monkey Town, Monkey City, and you can keep ecoing till like round 32, 34, and then all out them. At round 38, 39, 40, depending on what strategy they have. This way you will have insane eco, while you will have half of the map filled with druid farms, while you will have the rest of the map filled with super monkeys with homeland defense, and nothing, nothing is going to get through your defenses. Especially if you have uh, fourth tier super monkeys, which I don't. I only have tier three super monkeys. But honestly, they are so good. Actually, no, I do have technological terror. And this is a zero 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 village. It will be my uh, resell homeland. So once I use my first homeland, I'm going to sell it and I'm going to rebuild it there and use it again. Although ability is not battle ready, which is pretty sad. I wish it was, uh, or it were. I don't know. I wish it were battle ready, but the ability is not, so you need to wait a little bit. But still, it's better to micro your homeland ability. And also, guys, guys, please don't underestimate the 500 uh, wizard, the 500 druid. I, I was looking at his side, that's why I said wizard. Uh, 500 druid, you have to keep him at the end of the track. 
it is just insane with the homeland defense or with the tower boost it literally blow backs every single ZUMG, DDT, BFP, Moab class balloons anything except BAD it just throws them back insanely so nothing is going to get by that wizard as long as you have homeland or uh, you have tower boost so don't underestimate me you will see I will place it on the top although uh, Maybe he will not rush me with uh, fortified BADs. I'm not sure. I just want him to rush me. I want to showcase this strategy, how well it defends. We have Avatar of Wrath, by the way. I got the wrong one. Uh, okay, pro tip. If you want your Avatar of Wrath, please uh, get it with the second tier. Uh, so by that, I mean you want to have it 015, not 105. Because uh, apparently it just does more damage. So, yeah. Anyway, it, do it doesn't really matter when you have Super Monkey and uh, Homeland Defense, but uh, still, it's a good tip. So, uh, if you look at his lives, it looks like he is losing this game, but no, actually, the game, as always, is bugged, so he gets his lives from Heli Pilots, uh, which... Uh, is not showing here, but I'm sure he has like 600 lives or more. And also, I, w I went for the upper uh, druid, but I realized that it's not in the range of my uh, village. So I wanted to pull back DDTs, which is why I sold it and I rebuilt it in the range of my village. And now I am completely vibing. Also, if you pay attention, I have some technological terrors in between. And you want them... But you want them under the village. Honestly, maybe Sun Gods are better. I have no idea which one is better. But uh, I, I, I don't have Sun Gods, so I go for the middle path. It's your cleanup, ceramic cleanup, uh, Moab cleanup. And also you can get technological terror if you want. It will be your best cleanup for like BFPs and other crap. Uh, so yeah, I get a few of them. But you want them in the range of the village. And as you can see how well it blows back. Look at that Moab. It just flies back completely and gets shredded by the druids. That's just insane. I love it. I, I love the druid, guys. Uh, it's, it's just so good. Maybe I'll make some meme video where my opponent sends me infinite DDTs and I have Homeland and Alchemist buffing uh, that druid. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Maybe it's a fun video to make. Just to see how insane... Look at that blowback! No balloon can get passed through. And I'm not even using any ability yet. Anyway, guys, as you can see, I have been saving up my money. I haven't been building anything else. Only I built the 2 to 0 village near my uh, uh, middle path super monkey. And uh, that is just for the reason that I told you, so it can hit DDTs. And I get another technological terror just to have it uh, for the sake of it. Have extra defenses. Because in the last video, I all outed my opponent. He just countered me and I lost. So you always have to be ready for a counter. And once you see them not defending, you can start selling a few of your stuff and uh, add extra balloons to rush them. I'm preparing my last few super monkeys before I'm going to send him a huge all out. Even though I don't have to rush him necessarily, but I don't believe Wizard can defend uh, this late. Although maybe if he had more turbocharges and he had more Apaches, and uh, he might have had a chance to defend it. But uh, honestly, I I don't I doubt it. Wizard just needs a buff, at least as an early game tower or as a late game tower. But it has to be buffed. Right now, Wizard is just out of meta. Anyway, guys, I'm selling my druids. It's time. It's time. Let's go. Let's send this fortified grouped BADs. We have to win this game. I sell all my druid farms. I don't care. I don't need them. It's one rush. Either he defends it or he doesn't. We're still gonna survive even if he defended it. He uses all his phoenix abilities. Guys, it looks like he might actually defend this. I'm not sure. Look at the ZOMG. Okay, he's countering. He's countering with fortified DDTs. And we use our village ability, Homeland Defense. We are not even boosting. And the uh, DDTs just get destroyed before even reaching our trees. And it looks like he is going to lose this game. Because his strategy just cannot defend really well the fortified BFPs. And uh, Heli needs a late game buff or early game buff. And Heli is getting some love in the next update. Wizard also needs buff. And Wizard is getting some love as well. So his towers and his strategy might be actually better in the next update. Anyway, I didn't know where to place at first my druids. But I decided to stick with the old spot that I made uh, before. And as always, we go for our 2002 druids first before we leak any lives. 
which I am doing in this game as well. And guys, 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 what do we say when we see Dartling Gunner? When we see Dartling Gunner, we swag on him, guys. Don't forget, always swag on the Dartling players because uh, until update hits, uh, we have to swag on them, come on. And we have to tell them, not today, guys, not today. We, are, we, we have to win the Dartling player. And anyway, guys, Druid Village Super Monkey, it's not bugged, but it's really good. So, why you, there is no point to use uh, bugged glitch towers if you want to win, because there are some really good options apart from it. Anyway, guys, we, as always, leak some lives, we are echoing. Also, I was echoing with red balloons, I just wanted to see, um, is it worth it to save some money? And then I realized, nah, you just need to max echo with uh, blue balloons ASAP. So, th 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 I was just trying, okay? Don't, don't, don't judge me, don't blame me. Anyway, guys... Druid Village Super Monkey. Now I have to eco with green balloons in order to catch up for the lost uh, eco that I didn't get by ecoing with red balloons. Anyway, I'm not yet getting a lightning. I was trying to get a few lives leaked, but uh, as you can see, I haven't leaked many lives. But now I still start leaking, so it's really good uh, for me because my druids are getting only stronger and stronger with every life leaked. But it looks like I'm going to leak even more lives, so I had to go for the third tier druid. And now nothing is getting by. Also, I make it on strong, uh, my third tier druid. And now the balloons just get annihilated, guys, because it's so good. And also, also, guys, pay attention to the lightning. Have you noticed? Look, look, where is the lightning? Why it's not shooting lightnings? Okay, now it is again. Druid needs a fix. It's Again, there are no lightnings. Now it starts to shoot lightnings. So, <coughs> excuse me. They need to fix Druid, because right now it's bugged. As you see, as, where are the lightnings, guys? Okay, now again it's shooting lightnings. It needs to be fixed. And I emailed Ninja Kiwi actually about the Druid bug, and they told me they're already working on it, so hopefully it will be patched in the next update. I really, really, really hope so. So, as always, we go for our village, but in this case, because the position of my druids is not the best on this map, but uh, maybe it is the best, but it's not the best to combine with village, which is why I go for uh, upper village. I go for 220. I don't go for a discounted village. I'll have to build a discounted village separately later on in the game when I need it. But right now I go for jungle drums and I go for bigger radius. So jungle drums also buffs uh, druids, which makes them even stronger, considering the buff that they already have from leaked lives and the buff that they get with the third tier upgrade. As soon as much as long, what the hell? I lost my words how much I am in love with the druid. Anyway. As long as they are shooting balloons consistently, they are going to be speeding the attack. So that's really good, guys. Uh, and also, I want I want Ninja Kiwi to fix. Look, where are the lightnings? Where where is the lightning? I guess there is one lightning from one druid, but like he shoots constantly many lightnings, so you can say lightnings. Anyway, he just has rocket storm. He has no brain strategy. I remove the obstacle because I want to fit my super monkey as well as possible in there later on. But first, of course, we go for our extra druid. Again, I was trying to fit it in the radius of Ocean Obion, but uh, I just couldn't. So I, I just place it over there on top. Also, I love the animation that you have when you place your druid. It's so cool. The mastery is so nice. I get it with the range. I don't know. Maybe I should have got uh, one free... 0 instead of 0 free 1, but anyway, who cares, no one cares, I know, thank you guys. So I go for a druid farm, because he is max echoing with, well, he's not max echoing, but he went for a super monkey, which means uh, he spent uh, all the leftover money on uh, the super monkey, and he doesn't have enough to quickly rush me, and rushing with normal moebs will not even be that good. And as I told you guys, I get my discount village in the other place, and now I want to prepare my super monkey. So, if he sends me fortified moebs, I'll just use my super monkey. And it's under the ocean obin radius, and it's under the village radius with jungle drums, which will make our super monkey way stronger, and it is way cheaper, so that's perfect. And now, since he didn't send anything, I just go for another druid farm under our discount village. This time, I'm placing it everything around discount village again. So, guys, let's see. Let's see. He is going uh, Dartling Super Monkey Village, guys. That strategy. That strategy can go you round 60, 70, whatever round would be possible. 
I think uh, Dartling Super Village can go to that round. But let's hope, let's hope, guys. Let's hope he's not the best player in the world and maybe we will have a chance against him. I am not sure, I'm not very confident that we can beat him, but he doesn't have Boomerang, which means, guys, the rule of thumb. And he goes for his Monkey City. Let's send him Fortified ZNG immediately. He also stopped Equing, so I expected him to send me one, but uh, I guess it's because he went for Monkey City. Anyway, uh, I keep Druid farming while Equing, and uh, I stop him from Equing because of the Fortified ZNG. He needs to get extra defenses in order to pop it while we are still Equing and Druid farming. And now all of a sudden he sends us Fortified BFP. So I sell, I panic, I, I sell too many Druid farms immediately. I shouldn't have done it. And I also waste my tower boost. Uh, that was really stupid. Anyway, guys, <laughs> that, that was stupid. Please don't defend the way I defended it. And also look at his side, guys. I think... Do you think we win this game now? What do you think, guys? Or do you think Druid... I mean, Dartling is so broken that he can defend it. Well, I have bad news for you. Although I did send him a fortified BFP. Please, guys, never do it the way I did it. It was just a complete waste of 4k and I lost some eco doing it. Please don't do this again. Or, I mean, you don't do this at all, but I will try not doing this again. Anyway, look at his rocket storms with the super monkey. He just shreds the fortified BFPs like they're nothing. What the hell, guys? And we spent 11k on the trash. And he, he pops the BFP and the trees just eat the rest. Uh, yeah, yeah, the fortified BFP was complete waste of money. That would have been more eco and extra druid farm. Anyway, guys, we are still in this game and he hasn't been ecoing for a pretty good while. Plus, he spent a lot of money on this um, fortified BFPs while he lost some eco, which is really good for us. Anyway, I go for MIB just to make my druids pop the DDTs. And uh, even though I have a super monkey. But for space DDTs, I think that should be enough defenses. And now I am still echoing and I am spamming like crazy druids. Because I want the druid farms. Also, you have to be ready for round 28 all out. He can just sell his village and his super monkey and uh, one of his dartling guns. And all out to fortify DDTs immediately round 28. Even though he has been max echoing. So you have to be ready. It's not like you have main with sniper and uh, ninja. They can both stun DDTs. Which is why it's just good to have a super monkey ready with the uh, village ready as well. With the MIB. And now I am preparing my super monkeys for that exact reason, because I assumed he might rush me, but I can't place that stupid super monkey. Okay, finally I placed it, guys. It's really good when you can fit all three of them. Now I'm ready to upgrade all of them. And I'm still max equoing. And you know why? Because I have my druid. And honestly, I should have built maybe two less druids, but went for monkey city if I really wanted it. Uh, that would be probably uh, the better play than the one I did in this game. But whatever, guys, we still eco. But maybe combining Monkey City with Druid Farms can be actually really good. And I have to try this in the next games, but this will be the last game of the video. Anyway, look at that BFP, guys. There is BFP? Where is BFP? BFP is dead, guys. And our Druid Farms clean up for the ceramics so quickly and so good. Anyway, as you can see again, I'm preparing my Tornado Druid. And I'm saving a lot of money. He is max ecoing, so I want to send him a fortified BAD just to stop him from ecoing and build and force him to build extra defenses. But he already has his mod, so he will probably be completely vibing against our uh, BAD. Also, I'm so confused. Where on earth did he place his Obin? His Obin is just in the wrong spot. Anyway, as always, we go for the middle path now uh, on our Druid. We have to build our lives back. So just in case this game goes past round 40, we have to be ready. And uh, as always, I get one of our uh, middle path uh, Super Monkeys as well. And I keep Druid farming. He already popped the Fortified BAD and there is very little left for him to defend. He is using Rocket Storm. He has Super Monkeys with the mat. He will easy club the trash. So yeah. But again, he wasn't echoing all this time. He was investing his money into defenses, which is really good for us, guys. Every minute that eco player doesn't eco brings us further ahead and makes our 
position our situation advantageous towards him anyway guys we feel <laughs> most of the map uh, with our druid farms we have so much money right now and we are still max echoing with pink balloons doing all that stuff uh, that's where i realized actually i should have went for monkey city but at this point obviously it will be too late and also guys don't worry about 91 lives i think uh, there is still enough time for us to get uh, all 150 and survive past round 40 but uh, this is looking not the best but now you can see we have 116 lives because uh, we got extra lives from the middle path druid so he is dartling uh, village super monkey if he has sun gods if he has temples then he can survive past round 40 easily with homeland defense nothing is going to stop him maybe his position for obin was actually to build a temple on top of there and did you see how quickly we shred the balloons that's so nice and all of a sudden he sends us 45 bds look at the micro look how quickly i'm selling the towers and i pressed on the homeland defense but as you see it's not immediate so i will have to wait a little bit now i can use it but i keep selling my druids right now i use the tower boost as well and i'm building extra super monkeys and i have to get the look look guys this is the showcase of the fifth tier druid how quickly it will blow back everything i use the homeland defense now i'm using tower boost with all look at the ddt's Boo! ddt's umg's everything they're just flying back look at the bfps guys look at that look that, that druid is insane under homeland defense look at the balloons they're just flying all over the screen what the hell is going on did you see there were 45 bads guys did you see them i didn't see any i only see a few fortified bad bfps and now we swag on him obviously we have to swag so we did sell all of our druid farms and we have 5500 and this is exactly where having monkey city earlier and echoing more would pay off but again don't forget we sent him a four, fortified bad guys we still have full map of super monkeys with druids with avatar of wrath with tier 5 upper druid with homeland defense and we have 5500 eco guys so yeah that that is just so good and if we had monkey city and we had a few less uh, druid farms we would have like 7 to 8k eco right now and with all these defenses that's just so good even if he sent more fortified bads i honestly i don't even know what the trash was he's going super uh dartling village so he can go like round 50 easily and uh, we are the ones who are supposed to rush him maybe he was scared that i have extra lives because of the druid i have no idea guys anyway very soon we are just sending him fortified bads guys and what do you think will he defend them or no with his current defenses or will he try to counter rush us anyway i send one more fortified bad and now i balloon boost them he is using tower boost he is using mud but we swag on him we didn't use dartling we didn't use sniper we didn't use ninja and we still easily defended 45 bds look look at the ddts look at them i used homeland defense and guys i hope you enjoyed this one and if you liked it please subscribe for more amazing videos i make this content for you to have fun see you guys in the next one